Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And uh, today's topic is uh, that came up with the comment section of one of the video, and uh, one of the member is trying to uh, to get into one solution where the solution is something like this. Okay, so something. Let's take I have a trusted bar chart or any visualization, right? So this is let's take by my region and by my head sales symbol okay and he needs a slicer here right so let's take the slicer is based on anything in this case is the category right so what is wants to have that right? suppose i am not selecting anything from this slicer you do sorry you don't want to see the visualization itself whereas if we select it then only the visualization should come there right so that, that's what the requirement so if you are not selecting the visualization should be blank okay so the, for that let's see how we can approach this the so first thing first so what i am selecting here okay uh, that i need first like whether that is a true statement or false statement or what what exactly so for that, I want to create a measure first. I'll say is filter. In this case, is the category. I'm just checking whether the category filter is applied or not applied. So I will use a function called is filter. Then I will give category in this case. All right. So it will be whenever you are selecting something, it will be give you true. And whenever you are not giving, it will be false. Let's test it. Let's take a card here and put your is filter category here. Okay. So right now there is nothing there. If you select the furniture, it is not giving because there is a uh, here there is a problem. Category level. Uh, no call out value is white color. It is there. Let it put the black color here. If you see, now it is true. Okay. If you are not selecting any three, it will be the false. So what the condition would be, I want to uh, like put a filter on my visualization where when I want to see whenever the each filter category equals to true, that's it I want to do it, right? That's if that is the case, we will able to achieve first scenario. Okay, so let's do that. The first scenario would be I will select this and I will put the is filter category here but as you know in the last class also in the is empty class whenever there is a true false you will not able to apply the filter right so for that i want to convert this into int. okay so that i will get my one and zero and for this is filter is one only one then only it will be applicable now see the first requirement we are able to achieve here okay so whenever you are clicking on the furniture you are clicking on you are getting it if you are clicking on official plus if you are not selecting anything you are not getting the visualization first part is clear but there is another part suppose you are not selecting anything i just want to see a normal message there saying that please select a subcategory or please select a category because end of the day uh, we need to keep the solution right because any customer will not come to know what exactly needs to be done for this so for that what i will do is that i will create a, another measure here okay so there i will to print one message okay so what is that message will be now if my is filter category if it is true if it is true i want to say blank if it is not blank, not true then i will give a message called please select a category okay now this is done now let's put it another chart just to sorry another card just to test it out okay so here is the message let's say the message here i will change the call out value to white to black so here is saying that please select a category right when i'm selecting anything it will be blank okay 
awesome okay now what i need to do there is a message is coming right message that i don't want actually so this is a the column name which we are putting in this here okay so that is called the category level just off it so this will be a cleaner approach now if it's a blank if it is blank if it's not selecting it's saying that please select a subcategory now i just want this is a white color actually completely white i want to make it more transparent actually okay so for that let's create another measure here so i'll say uh, make it make it transparent okay make it transparent so again if you say if is category if it is true sorry not this one if this is true then you need to give a color so this is the normal up to here this is a white okay and if you put zero zero it will be more transparent complete transparent so you need to use this okay else i will say white white color i want okay now what i'll do i'll just select this card okay i'll go to the format general tab and the title let's make the title on click on the fx formatting field value and select the transparent color which you just now you created okay make it transparent yes now if you see it is a complete transparent only right so now if select the furniture here okay now take this and put it here on top of this and make it the size properly on top of this only okay now not select anything it will give you please select a subcategory actually it's a, it's a card actually on top of that but if you select something then it will give you the data right this is cool right so this is the way you can hide the visualization based on your filter selection okay all right hope you like this video please do subscribe to this channel for more interesting content like this and i already told in the previous video please comment any any specific topic that could be anything like it's not like a, a solution based suppose you want to understand any topic on the power bi on a theoretical side or anything just let me in the put it in the comments and will definitely put it my time to make it the video to make you understand okay thank you and have a nice day